Here's a little glimpse of what Ruthie gets up to when he's left alone for too long. She probably thinks she'll be in for a nice, relaxed time. Not likely, not if my territory mates have anything to do with it. Quiet drives in the bush. And long days down the beach relaxing. After sorting things out up the beach, Mark reckoned we should try cracking some of the tracks through to the Adelaide River. No one had managed it yet, because up here during the wet, the whole catchment area is underwater. This is going to be too much for the Pathfinder, but we've picked up a couple of big 80s and Chiz reckons he's going to give it a go in the Triton. About then he said, I flooded this once before. I'm going to go down to about 20 because uh, Benny, I think he's been here before. That gives me a good idea of what to expect. Got to give myself a shout out here, Ben's using a Milo tire deflator. This is Dan, the bloke we met up the beach. He's built a very tough 80. Mark let us out and we were into it straight away. Looks like plenty of water still lying around. On the top of the ridge at the moment, a bit of a valley, and we're just gonna go through a few little bits of puddly. So this is what makes the falls down the bottom, this water here. Yeah, that's correct. There's a few of these little rivers that come into one and create a beautiful. Right off it. It's so much cooler down here. Which are 10, 15 degrees lower already. <laughs> <laughs> Carol was just saying that. It's beautiful. It's cool down here. It's easy enough, the dirt's right there. Oh, I see. Car's on the bottom. Rock would really help there. <laughs> Is that what you hold the swag up with? <laughs> oh, I love me. It's great being stuck out in a bush with your mates. It's a bit early in the time. <laughs> Okay, mate. Old girl just walked through it after that bit. Ben's got his mate Trevor doing recoveries today. The big GQ's just romping through this stuff. And here's Penny and Paul. Penny was one of the bridesmaids at the wedding. But she's showing a not so soft side today driving the big 80. Meanwhile, Dan's come up on the same puddle, but he's taken the chicken track around. That's definitely not like him. Mm -hmm. 
No way size missing out, but there goes the old 12 HT throttle jumping. Isn't that a lovely thumping sound? Si's got the camera lads with him because we didn't want to bring the Cherokee in here, not without a snorkel anyway. <laughs> the wet season really rips things up, but that just makes it more exciting being first ones through. There's a big dip in there somewhere. Steady, steady, bro. Hey. One-handed. <laughs> Panel damage for him coming down the other way. Oh, nice! Nice work! I don't know, mate. I think. Whoa! Whoa! Go, Penny, go! Wow! <laughs> I'm just hanging on. <laughs> oh. I don't want to lose it. Hey, um, Penny. Is there any truth to the rumour that uh, yes. you wrote Paul's last 80 series off? Yes. It was a pig, not me. Oh, it was a pig. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a pig, eh? Yeah. We won't need much of a tug, but this tug is enough to tip it over. So what we're going to do is just lay some tracks, some max tracks in front of the front wheel and the back wheel. Uh, double them up so they're twice as thick. As soon as the wheels get onto that, we'll know we've got enough height and it won't fall over. If the wheels don't get onto that, we've got a problem. But we'll probably hang a few guys off this side to add a little bit of extra bush weight to it. Here goes. At the end of the day, I carry Max tracks on everything, even if I don't use them for months at a time. Can you grab those, mate? Because the one time you do use them, like this, it's just insurance, hey? Yeah, that's it. It's insurance that you can get that vehicle out. Beautiful. It doesn't matter if it's sitting up, it's just to kick it up a bit so it doesn't fall over. Real slow. There's the tracks, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not there now. Feels a little looser, doesn't it? You all right? Okay, a bit more left hand down, Penny. Okay. Righto. What's your plan? You're going to ride the ridges or? I uh, hit it hard. <laughs> uh, Dan's a mechanic, he can I'm afford to hit it hard. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Meanwhile, yeah. Mark and I are going to keep the max tracks handy. Yeah, these are good things. <laughs> <laughs> Yee haw! Oh. 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 Yeah. 
So you don't just carry a camera. Hey John, I think um, Penny did that one for the ladies, eh? Hey? That was absolutely perfect driving and just fantastic recovery and wow, what can I say? From a complete almost flip over to success in the end, not too much damage to the old 80. So yeah, well done Penn. I saw that look on her face last one she rolled. <laughs> okay, we're renaming this track the Penny Drop, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I think that's perfect, the penny drop. That's cold. <laughs> so now Penny's got a track named after her, the penny drop. Didn't she deserve that? What an incredible country we live in. Fair Dinkum, look at this. This is as wild as it gets. Here we are. You know, we're only a couple of hours out of Darwin. But thanks to four wheel drives, thanks to open country, and thanks to the sheer beauty of Mother Nature, we can access the top of a waterfall like this. This is what it's all about, guys. Just get out there, see the country for what it is. You're only going to love it more. I ain't driving down that, all right? <laughs> I'm not driving down it. Probably about right, the you got. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about water up here after the wet as the country drains itself back to dry. But all this water's heading down to the Adelaide River and that's where we're going tomorrow. Things could get very interesting 